Hi everybody, today I will demonstrate maxillary canin tooth preparation. You can see how to use the automatrix on the screen. When the ball on the automatrix is pushed, the matrix band leaves. By pulling the ball, automatrix holds the band. And by moving the ball left to right, the band loosens up or tightens. Our purpose for using automatrix is to prevent damaging the adjacent teeth while the reduction of the axial walls. First, I place the matrix bands to the adjacent teeth. Then I insert 2 mm cylindrical shoulder burr. We control the preparation depth with guiding grooves. If we want to make a preparation with 2 mm depth, we have to use 2 mm cylindrical burr to form the guiding grooves. I started the preparation from the buckle side. I formed 3 or 4 guiding grooves on the buckle. I paint the deepest points of the grooves with a pencil. The purpose of doing this is not to lose the absolute preparation depth. If I lose the pencil stain completely, then it means I increase the depth involuntarily. After joining the guiding grooves on and forming a smooth surface on the buckle, I continue from the incisal. I also form guiding grooves on the incisal face and join these grooves. Later on, as you can see in the video, I insert the flame end burr for the removal of the axial walls. While removing this area, I move the burr slowly back from the buckle to the palatinal. Even if the matrix band is placed, if you move the burr uncontrolled, you may damage the adjacent tooth. When I think I made enough preparation on the axial walls, I remove the flame end burr and insert the tapered burr.
I place the tapered bar parallel to the long axis of the tooth and continue the preparation on the buckle and the proximal areas in order to form the taper. I insert the pear-shaped bar for the preparation of the palatinal. I make the reduction on the upper part of the cingulum with this bar. Then we continue with the shoulder bar to form the step on the palatinal side. I insert the tapered bar to align the bevels. Finally, I use a red banded cylindrical shoulder bar to make the final corrections. We must be careful not to leave any sharp edges.
Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.